put in there. Now, they're part of the Mayor's flagship transport project and the hybrid electric diesel buses are meant to be the most environmentally friendly bus of their type. Now, BBC London has learnt that many of the new route masters are in fact running on diesel and in all, 200 of the vehicles will have to have faulty batteries replaced. Our transport correspondent Tom Edwards has this exclusive report. They're certainly distinctive, now known as new route masters. And they're meant to be powered by a hybrid electric and diesel system, making them environmentally friendly. I quite like them because, I mean, you can, you can get on the back as well of them, whereas the other ones, you couldn't. No, I do like them, yeah. They look good as well. At the moment, there are 500 in London. There will be another 300 next year. Back in March, Transport for London admitted it had a problem with the batteries on these buses. Now the drivers are saying the problem hasn't been resolved. This is meant to be the most environmentally friendly bus of its type. But if the hybrid system isn't working, it means in some cases they're running on diesel. So they say that almost 9 out of 10 or sometimes 10 out of 10 of these buses do not have the electric motors working. And the key point there is that the diesel motor is not really strong enough. Critics say problems with the batteries means drivers are finding the buses very difficult to drive. When the battery uh, isn't working, uh, the bus is slow to respond, which is dangerous because people allow the bus out and then get angry that the bus doesn't pull out. This bus is the Mayor Boris Johnson's. Introducing it was part of his election campaign in 2008, but it has had problems. The prototype broke down on the first day, and passengers complain about the stifling heat on the top deck. They're excessively priced, these buses, sometimes as much as £70,000 more than the bus that they've replaced. They seat less people, so they're not really a practical bus for London. This photo actually shows the removed batteries sitting in a bus depot. TfL admits there are 80 of these buses now operating on just diesel generators. In all, 200 will have faulty batteries replaced under warranty. It's too hot on the top deck. I get complaints about that all the time, and now the power systems aren't working. You've installed a pump. No, not at all. These are all, always the greenest and cleanest buses uh, operating Even anywhere. when they're on diesel? Even when they're on diesel. It's cutting-edge technology. We've got more of these than anybody else anywhere in the country, of course. So we're doing really very well with this. Not surprising. From time to time, the science will have to be adapted. But we're working really very hard, and as I say, at no cost to London. Hundreds more of these buses are already on order, but this most political of transport projects remains extremely contentious. Tom Edwards, BBC London News.